Drew is going to come up right now. He's, going to, he's got a great uh, slideshow for you. Thanks, Drew. Thanks, Tom. Uh, my name is Drew Hamilton. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody for coming out tonight. Uh, this is going to be my third summer out at McNeil River. My first time at McNeil River was with a group of Friends of McNeil River volunteers. Uh, so I will forever be grateful to the organization for kind of cluing me into this great spot. Um, for my portion of the slide show tonight, I kind of wanted to just do last summer in a nutshell. Um, by all accounts, it was a great summer. Uh, lots of bears, uh, lots of cool folks coming out. Um, so I'm just going to go through, the, I mean, this one's out of order, but uh, I just wanted to go through the summer kind of chronologically and, and uh, see how the season changed. Uh, this is uh, this is a time lapse video I took on July 20th. I just thought, it was one of our you know, one of the peak days. Uh, I don't know if it was one of the seven uh, top, but it was probably right up there. A lot of activity on the center rock that day, so I just set the the point and shoot on time lapse, and thought it turned out pretty neat. So the bear viewing got off to a great start last year when the, uh, the Friends of McNeil River group was out. Uh, Sarah, you were there standing right next to me for this one, weren't you? Yep. I think so. This is Simba. This is early, early on. Uh, the fish got there really early, so we had some bears poking around and we got there. Uh, this is Simba. I also included her. She's one that gets asked about by the, uh, the McNeil regulars. And I think this might be the only time I saw her all year. She showed up right at the beginning. And, uh, didn't see her again. She's probably probably around, but just not uh, not coming out for us to see. Uh, Mick Pick, uh, mid June here. Uh, Tom mentioned the eagles. Uh, we did have over 100 eagles counted from camp, and that's one of the things I always think of uh, when I'm thinking about Mick Pick is just the number of eagles. It's kind of mind-boggling. Uh, you just turn around from on those Mick Pick flats like he was showing, and just count eagles, eagles, eagles everywhere, looking for those golf balls in the trees. I think this was taken from uh, probably Upper Mission <coughs> Creek looking up. It's like a little high up there. Uh, Tom also mentioned that uh, sometimes it's hard to get a good bear shot without a seagull in it. Uh, but here it's hard to get a good gull shot without a bear in it. Uh, this is the Mick Baker early season. You see the grass, uh, the sedge is starting to turn green there. Um, bear dragged a, a fish up into the sedge there and eaten it, and everybody was fighting for the scraps here. This was probably my best day on Big Big Creek last year. Uh, the 17th of June, we had uh, several large males fishing during high tide uh, right there at the Ripple. Uh, this bear, uh, for those of you following along in your, uh, your ID books, uh, this bear, Ted, normally his, one of his ears, his right ear, is, is pressed flat against his head. But when he jumped like this, pop both ears straight up. So. Uh, <laughs> The wind took it. Wind's blowing his ears back on this one. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, it worked. He got it. Oh, this is another big bear that was charging around in the, in the high tide that day. Um, they were just pulling fish in left and right. It was pretty, pretty spectacular to watch. This was probably my best day on Big Big Creek last year. Uh, the 17th of June, we had... Uh, Several large males fishing during high tide uh, right there at the Ripple. Uh, this bear, uh, for those of you following along in your, uh, your ID books, uh, this bear, Ted, normally his, one of his ears, his right ear, is, is pressed flat against his head. But when he jumped like this, pop both ears straight up. So uh, <laughs> the wind took it. Wind's blowing his ears back on this one. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, it worked. He got it. Oh, this is another big bear that was charging around in the, in the high tide that day. Um, they were just pulling fish in left and right. It was pretty, pretty spectacular to watch. There he is. There you see how that ear normally lays flat. So you couldn't ID him from that previous photo. That's, that's, uh, that's a more accurate shot right there. He was waking up from a nap a little groggy. This is uh, also out on the McVick Flats that same afternoon. Uh, looking back, you can see Iliamna Volcano off in the distance there at the camp. Uh, this is a bear we call Leo. 
is huge, I think is the only way to describe him. Uh, Tom was talking about the big, uh, the big necks on this guy. Look how small his head looks compared with the rest of his body. And I'll tell you, his head is actually huge. So he is a giant. This is uh, right at um, the uh, Walker Creek, just downstream from where uh, where we get our water. Um, this little guy poked around all midpick season, saw him occasionally uh, through uh, McNeil fall season. Uh, I, spent, I know I spent about a month thinking this was a female. Uh, turned out little guy, little, little male here, sub adult. The tracks on the way out, we're always looking for tracks. You know, we always tell people, if you see something you want to take a photo of, say something, we'll all stop, because chances are good somebody else wants to take a picture of it too. So you're always keeping your eyes out for something that's photo worthy. Oh, Tom, you remember this one on Big Bit? That was a crazy day. I don't think we have time for the story, but it was awesome. <laughs> This is, uh, this is one of the things that keeps me coming back year after year. Uh, this is the view from my office. You see Mount Mo out there in the distance. We've got some plaster casts like Tom was talking about. We've been working on some plaster casts here on the table. Some adjustable crescents. So that about sums it up. Oh, still in McVick here. We're getting, we're getting close to the McNeil season, uh, McNeil River season, but this is still uh, end of June. We're at uh, McVick this morning. We probably ended the day at McNeil, if I remember correctly. Uh, and these two guys were just goofing off, playing. And uh, they were playing, just totally absorbed in what they were doing. All of a sudden, a bear pops out on the other side of the creek, and boom, they were on it. Lots of them. It was empty, I checked. OK, by the beginning of June, we're starting to, or July, sorry, we're starting to head over to the McNeil River. Um, this is a. This is a little female bear that, uh, like we mentioned, the fish were a little early, so some of these uh, bears had uh, access to the river that they normally wouldn't have had if it was full of uh, the big guys. So this little lady, uh, this little bear was out uh, fishing in, the, in, the, in the, the near pool. If you guys have been out there, you can picture that spot. So she was right there, and the fish were just going left and right. She had her head on a swivel trying to zero in on these fish as they were singing by her. And this was her quarry, the chum. We also had some good activity down in the lagoon uh, in early July. This is right as you're crossing the lagoon and you hit the conglomerate rock face uh, before we head up the trailhead to the McNeil Falls. Uh, this little bear, I don't, I don't know which bear this is, but he was charging around. Uh, Michelle's chasing chum right there in the lagoon. Ooh, another uh, wildlife sighting we had last year. Uh, had uh, a couple of wolves roll through. Uh, this one was right behind the pad. I know Tom got a good look at it too. Uh, this is the only shot I could snap off just for photographic proof that it was there. Uh, but it's always exciting. I mean, you see a lot of bears out there, so I know I get extra excited when you see something different. Um, I saw. I also saw this one once, and I saw another one once. Uh, but there were tracks around. That's, you're more likely to see the tracks than the actual wolf. OK, so now we're, uh, you know, we're early July here. We're starting to head over to uh, the McNeil River. Uh, this was just all right there. OK, this was at the bathroom rock, actually. For those of you who have been out there before, uh, we stopped for our traditional bathroom break. And, Got some bear viewing in while we were there. So this is actually at uh, McNeil Falls. This is right off the end of the viewing pad. This is a, a large male that was taking a nap, just waking up, kind of groggy still. He'd been out catching fish and came up to uh, sleep it off right next to us. I always hate it when you get the awkward, I just woke up face. <laughs> there he is again, kind of got himself together there. So Tom mentioned uh, the, uh, the tree swallows. This was uh, something exciting I, I watched while I was in camp one day. Uh, the fledgling tree swallows were out, and so uh, 
uh, they were getting fed. So I <laughs> just set the focus and basically held the button and see what turned out. And uh, I was looking at the timestamps on these photos after, uh, after it was all back in the computer. And all of this took place in under a second. I mean, it's just that fast. But this was right, uh, right at the end of one of the staff cabins in the tree, in our, one, our tree. The tree. Back in McNeil Falls, we're getting to uh, mid-July here. Uh, this is White Claws here with the uh, grabbing a chum and making a break for it. These are two relatively large males playing, and this is right. Um, if you've been to the falls, you picture just before you go over the lip and you can see the falls for the first time. This is just before that. We couldn't even make it to the falls that day without running into bears. And sniffing out the eggs. This, <laughs> this, was, uh, uh, this was a large male that was right in front of the lower viewing pad. Uh, and he was finishing up a salmon and he was going back to make sure he didn't miss a morsel. <laughs> Unique fishing styles. It just looks painful. Okay, this is a little out of order, but I wanted to uh, do a... So this is a bear we call Luther. Uh, he is, he, he's the largest, I would say, that we have out there. Um, here he is on the 3rd of July, and that was the first time I saw him last year. And here he is at the end of July. So this is, the, uh, this is what he's done to himself in three weeks. <laughs> So then we get down towards, uh, well then I took a vacation, I was gone for a week, so I, I skipped a week, come back, and uh, here we are at Ender's Island, this is what Tom was talking about when we're down viewing uh, towards the mouth of the McNeil River, uh, a lot of sitting on gravel bars, you're right at eye level with the bears, uh, it's just a laid back uh, place to watch, uh, the bears are doing laps up and down the river, uh, you might not see as many bears, but you'll see, this, you'll see them over and over again as they're going up and down the river. Uh, also, oh, here's another shot from Ender's Island. They catch the fish right in front of you, and then they'll come eat it on the, on the gravel right in front of you, so you get a lot of good face shots. But August was, the show was stolen in August by uh, these cubs. These were uh, some cubs in here that we got, uh, got to spend some real quality time with in August. Uh, they spent a lot of time down in the lagoon. Uh, you can see the mom down there in the, in the background. And so she'd stash them on the shore, and then she'd go out and do, uh, do fishing under their uh, <laughs> supervision. So they'd stand on the side and watch mom and then go running and fight over, the, fight over what she left them. Towards, okay, this was, the, uh, this was my highlight for last year. I don't know about the other guys. They can justify themselves, but... Um, August 22nd last year, we had a wolverine in camp. Um, Tom and I were in camp that day, and uh, I was taking wood down to the cook shack, and boom, there was a wolverine sitting in one of the campsites, one of, one of the tent spots right there by the, the mushroom chairs. And uh, so I go get Tom, and Tom, no, no, didn't see it, he's gone. So then, later in the day, I saw him again, and I go get Tom. Tom didn't see it. <laughs> Tom's probably thinking I'm nuts by this. Then I saw him a third time, and he was right in front of Tom's cabin. So I go and I drag Tom out, and I'm like, there it is. Then I realize it's right there, and I can read the ADN article about the uh, bear viewing guy mauled by a wolverine, and <laughs> so I <laughs> went inside. But it stuck around for uh, pretty much all day and into the evening. It was trying to get to the, uh, the fox kits that were in the, the den behind camp. Uh, Mama Fox was going crazy chasing around. You could actually locate the, uh, the Wolverine by the uh, Mama Fox's uh, vocalizations. So that was kind of, that was our big non-bear wildlife sighting for, for the year. Oh, then we get into the silk, sorry, jumping around here, but we uh, get to the silvers in the meal falls uh, towards the end, start catching them off the end of the spit there. Uh, for my money, silver is the most fun to catch. Uh, this is getting down towards the end of the Finishing up with a good sunset, uh, last group of the year. So, that's all I got. That was last year in a nutshell for me.